Hello! Happy day on Gloom! And welcome! Welcome, welcome to The Sims 4. Today we are going to write ourselves into the lore of Judy Big Booty's wonderful, wonderful family. Judy is a legend, as you can see, and we want to make the perfect pet for her. I still need to decide whether she is a cat person or a dog person. We are also going to make an animal for Hanzo, the negligent, lazy, horrible dad. He's a serial romantic. He cheats on his wife all the time. He's family-oriented, but he's also a kleptomaniac is very outgoing and also our emo girl Melody she needs a pet again we're gonna decide whether these people are cat people or dog people but first off I think we're gonna start with the legend herself Judy Big Booty I'd like some help from the chat because like I said we are going to write ourselves into the lore of Judy Big Booty's wonderful family so please keep me updated on whether you think that Judy needs a cat or a dog now dogs are very <laughs> affectionate and loving animals so I kind of feel like a cat would be more of Judy's alley, but it might be more comical to give her a dog because then the dog will just annoy her all the time. Add a dog or add a cat. I'm really excited to play this Sims 4 cats and dogs thing. You can't go into the mind of your cat and dog, but you can kind of give them attributes, which I'm really excited for. I'm kind of curious as to how hard it's going to be to, I guess, for your animal to die. Like, like do they die? I don't, like, is that too dark? I'm not sure. I think that, I think that, I think that Judy will possibly have a cat and Melody will have a dog. <laughs> but maybe Melody, maybe Judy should have a dog that pisses her off all the time. I feel like, I don't know. I think it's in Judy's character to want a cat. And also, before we get into this, I'd like to mention that Melody, Judy Big Booty, and this little annoying yeah. kid have moved back in with their parents. Why did they do that? Because they can't afford to get these animals living by themselves. They only had $2,000 to their name and they had probably over $2,000 of unpaid bills. So they're all living together as a family again in that really nice house. So Judy is back in her element. Judy is back being a spoiled, you know, the spoiled rich girl that she was always meant to be. I'm seeing a lot of cat in the chat, so but, cat in the chat, but don't worry. We're gonna make a dog for Melody, definitely, because I feel like Melody is a dog person. So first off, for Judy Big Booty, we're gonna get a cat going. And it's a little cutie. Now first, what we're gonna do, well this guy, this guy just automatically, we're making Judy a cat and it's just automatically a glutton. Isn't that cute? So now let's see what attributes we can give this cat. Affectionate, aloof, clever, curious. Like, is there anything like annoying? Okay, so there's mischievous. That could be interesting. I mean, that's what Judy is and spoiled. The cat, okay, is, did the cat just, wait, let, let's, let's try that again. Oh shit, let's cross those out. Is, the, is that cat? Did Judy's cat, Judy's cat, without me even assigning it, wants to be a glutton and also wants to be mischievous and just pooped on the floor. Like, do we really have to have him pooping on the floor? Um, and of course he's gonna be spoiled. Territorial? Territorial and spoiled are kind of the same thing. I almost feel like, mm, these cats are spoiled creatures. Scolding them hardly ever changes their behavior. That is very much in the spirit of our beautiful Judy Big Booty, but what about territorial? These cats are fairly protective of their territory. They will be aggressive to anyone new they meet. Hmm. I do want a talkative cat because I just want, I just love the idea of like an annoying cat. It's like meow, meow, meow. Um, spoiled or territorial? I don't know. I don't know. I, I just want, I, I just really, I wish we could pick like five different traits because I feel like gluttony, gluttony is taking up a bit much, but if the, if this cat is gonna be thick, like Judy Big Booty, then for sure we're gonna need, we're gonna need him to be gluttonous, we're gonna need him to be mischievous, spoiled, territorial. I think territorial is a good one. But spoiled is so much like Judy. Okay, we're gonna go with spoiled. We can change it later, perhaps? Okay, his ears are down. He looks like, he looks pissed off. Okay, so, and you can make him do like different positions here, just to like really see what the cat looks like, which is kind of cute. Lay down, be submissive for me, cat. Beautiful. All right. Hmm. You can randomize it, you can undo, you can redo, you can randomize. 
randomize me down? I don't want to randomize it, okay? Um, now breeds. Let's start with some breeds. Abyssinian. Okay, what is what is the most pretentious, stuck-up cat that we could possibly make? I know that I know that Bengals are pretty bad, but I also want the cat to kind of look like Judy Big Booty. Like I, I just really I really want one of those like expensive breeds that are very hard to tame and um, are just kind of a raccoon. I don't know if someone as spoiled as Judy would have a raccoon for a pet, but let's just let's just click through and see. Oh, you can mix the breeds. What if it's like half Bengal, half raccoon? Let's just let's just take a look at what that looks like. Where is it? Egyptian? What is this Egyptian now? Bengals are so pretty. Um, it doesn't look very. I mean, it kind of looks raccoony. Like you can kind of see on his face here that. He's got raccoon colors, but I feel like this cat is too... Should Judy's cat be the most beautiful cat possible? Or, um... I, I feel like Melody's dog, like, Melody's gonna want a really, really nice dog, but we're gonna make the ugliest possible dog, so maybe the cat should be cute. For sure, but I, I know for a fact that right now, we're gonna want it to be... We're gonna want it to be a strong... Or strong or... Thick. Thick boy! That's a thick boy right there. Hopefully we can, um, maybe not raccoon. Let's take raccoon out of this. Let's, whoa! That says Judy Big Booty all over it. I like the two different colored eyes. The shittiest cat. Beautiful cat. <laughs> I think it should be a fancy cat. I think it should too, but it, it has to have like some Judy kind of attributes to it. I really like, I really like the way the Bengal looks. Should we give it some long legs? Like, cause Judy's got legs for days. Let, let's, let's just, um, let's just plug this guy in here and see. This might be a little bit too dainty. I kind of like how, like, the other one is, like, thick. So we're gonna kick that out. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Hmm. Is there anything else that we could possibly put them together with and make it just look super unique for Judy Big Booty? I guess Raccoon, like, isn't really Judy Big Booty's style since, um, you know, Judy's a, she's a pretentious one. Singapura. Ooh. Sphinx. Tabby. Oh, I love tabby cats. Tuxedo. I love ragdolls, too. Skinny? But Judy's thick! Should it be a half, a half Bengal, Bengal, half Siamese? Himalayan. I kind of want it to be, like, very furry. Oh! Oh my goodness! Wait, let, let's see how it looks when we kind of... Wow! Okay, so should we make him muscular or not very? I feel like not very, because he's a glen. This guy, this guy kind of reminds me a lot of um, Garfield. And I don't know if I want the cat to look like Garfield. Make a grumpy cat? I think he's gonna be pretty grumpy. He's like, he's territorial, he's, or he's spoiled. He's mischievous and he's very gluttonous. So this definitely looks like one of those kinds of cats. A fat cat, a gold leash. Um, okay, so we can play with the colors a little bit later. I don't want him to look too much like a tiger. Um, hmm. Let's just click on this over here for a sec. Should What color should Judy's cat be? I almost feel like orange is a very fitting color for him. Eh. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Dude! Okay, first of all, that's not what we're here for right now. Oh no! Where did my perfect cat go? Okay, I'm gonna undo. Thank God for this tool. I wonder how far back you can go. Hopefully we can go far back enough to get our our beautiful cat. There he is! There he is! I'm learning <laughs> I'm learning the Sims interface. I'm learning it name it Torb. Can you name this can you name this bad boy? Hello, my name is Torb. Torb Yearn, because he yearns for his space. Last name, obviously Big Booty. Torb Yearn though, is that is that cute? I don't know. Maybe just Torb Big Booty. He looks like a Torb, doesn't he? Torb. Alright, let's talk about his body a little bit. I don't really see. Let's see. Okay, so this is kind of like. Why don't you stand up for us, pretty kitty? 
<laughs> Wouldn't you just want to feed this guy all day long? Oh, I think that, that this is more of like his body type. Okay, wait. Eh? Or eh? A little bit... A little bit bigger biceps or a little bit... I, I don't know. He's a gluttonous cat, so I feel like... I feel like this is the body type that we should be going for. Please make him a kitten? Um, I think that that's... That's probably the appropriate choice. That's the appropriate choice, for sure. Oh my goodness. He's gonna grow up to be an ugly cat, but look at him right now. Look at him right now. Oh wow, you can really... You can really edit the crap out of these animals. Okay, head shape. Oh, this or this? Is he gonna have like a more like defined muzzle or like? I think the I think the chubbier one is good for his ears. Are they gonna be? Oh, I love cats with the ears that go down. What do you guys think? Call it thick queen. That could work. That could really really work. Nose. What kind of a nose is he gonna have? I really want him to have like a little pink nose. Oh, that's so cute. I like the big nose too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whiskers. Okay, so obviously his whiskers are gonna be black, right? Or do you, do you guys think that's tacky? See, I I don't really understand like um, design very well. So you guys gotta like let me know if I should go with the green whiskers. Actually, I think we're gonna save the green whiskers for, um, for Melody's dog that she unfortunately what Judy did is Judy went to the most high-end breeder humanly possible and got the most expensive cat humanly possible. Whereas Melody, the good person that she is, she's gonna go to a shelter and get the first dog that she could find. Possibly a dog with a sad past. And um, yeah, so we're gonna make we're gonna make this cat dope. These whiskers, like they kind of they almost look like they glow, don't you think? But I feel like great. Ooh. Should he should he have like a little salt and pepper going on? Yeah, it's going to be a cute cat, okay? <laughs> Call her Churro. Churro would be such a cute name. Change the color of the cat. We'll definitely we'll definitely get into that kind of thing. I think that um I think that I think gray maybe. Gray's pretty gray's pretty cute. Now what color eyes? I I kind of I don't really know what color eyes Judy has. I think she has green. Um, oh! What happened? That's cute. That's normal. I, I want him to have like the biggest eyes possible. Should, should we have matching eye colors? I don't think so. I think that for the left eye, it should be like blue. And for this eye, it should be like green. Oh. Oh, baby. That's so nice. That is so nice. Um, What do you guys think? Salt and pepper whiskers? Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Where are you, salt and pep? There you are. Uh, for the eyes, I, I really like the big eyes. Paint mode? Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh, so we can paint whatever we want on this cat. Um, and we can also... Hmm. I want to... Stamps, you can stamp on him, you can stencil on him, but like he's got a lot of stuff going on right now, so I don't really know if we should be stenciling him. Um, hmm. let's zoom in out a little bit more. I kind of want to give him like two little boobies. Is that immature? I don't know. I kind of want to like, but I, then again, he has to be a beautiful cat. I kind of want to give him like a little, a dark little muzzle here. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna like up the brush size. I'm gonna turn this black. And oh, why is it brown? Hmm, I'm gonna up the brush size a little bit more. Like, don't, don't you guys think that's kind of cute? Why does it look green? It's so bad. Come on. It looks green! I don't like it. I want him to have like a little dark face. Cause I think that that's like so cute. The name is Stripes, you think? Hmm. I don't know, I, this isn't really working out for me right now. That's kind of cute, but again, it's green. Maybe let's see, eraser, okay. We've got the eyedropper, fill color, and mirror painting. So if we uncheck mirror painting, then we can just like, 
then it won't mirror itself. But it's kind of nice to like have the mirror because it gives your cat a lot more. It gives your animal like a lot more symmetry. Hmm. I can't. You are pretty cute, aren't you? I want to I want to back up and I want to go into the color of the cat because I don't really want to paint on him. Just, what? Yeah. Just gonna take a little second here to acknowledge the super chats just because there are so many of them. I am Pacey, thank you so much for the super chat, $5. Hey girly, how you feeling today? Discord life, thank you for being a part of my Discord, guys. My Discord is like where I hang out with all of my viewers and it's a lot of fun. Like we've got some, we've got some good jokes in there. Linda Fadfum, thank you so much for the super chat. I love you too. Sick as frick, hello, thank you for the super chat, $5. LPS Hing Hing Hina Geshi. Uh, question, what's your favorite meme? Um, I mean, it's really old and like probably like a really tired old one, but I really like the kid, like the, the kid with the noodle cup that it's like that kind of burned and melted and he's like looking really upset. Um, Zero Sense, I love you too. Thank you so much for the super chat. Deanna Newman, you should make Twinkie too. I, maybe I should. Thank you for the super chat. It's just Caleb and I am Pacey. Thank you. Thank you so much for the super chats. Nicole Taylor, you can change the cats and dogs age, the ranges and the, the ranges are kittens slash puppies to adults and elders. Love you. I love you too. Thank you so much for the advice. Um, what I do want to know chat is like how do, cause right now I'm in the paint mode and I want to get out of, I want to get out of this mode too. Actually, no, this is exactly where I want to be. So coat color and patterns. Um, hmm. do we want this cat to like kind of look like a tiger? I mean, that's pretty much what a Bengal is. Um, you can change like, you see how like this is like a light color here. You can change the different colors. Let's just, let's just see. Let's just see what it looks like if we like kind of tinker with this a little bit. That's really cute. We can make him like very orange. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Um, I, I definitely, I, I want his tummy to be like a little bit lighter than the rest. I feel like this is kind of a good color, but I could be. That's too orange. What, do, what would he look like with like a dark? Okay, he looks like kind of, he looks kind of muddy with this. I don't know, this is like cute, but it's a little bit, I like this a lot. This is very tigery. He looks like a little leopard. Name him Big Titty Smitty. <laughs> I could do that. Make it cute for Melody. I, I, I'm, I don't know, I don't know if I can make him cute for Melody. Melody doesn't have that kind of luck in the world. All right, let's uh, let's play with whatever. What color is this? Like, where where is the positioning of this? Oh, okay, it's right there. Um, why don't you sit up for me, sweetheart? So this kind of gives him like a pink undertone. This gives him ooh. That's kind of, it. Looks like he fell into like gasoline and became radioactive when he was younger. It's kind of cool. But I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Um, oh wow, that's sick. That's really cool. Um, I don't know if I should make him like, I don't know if I should make him like cool, like I don't know if I should make him glow like that. Or if I should just make him a normal looking kitty cat. There's so many decisions, there's so many options. I really like the lightness. But then, like, I miss when he was orange. Can I make this even more orange? Oh. That's kind of pretty. That's kind of pretty indeed. And then this, so th this is the stripes, I imagine. Okay, yes it is. I, I really think that the stripes should stay black or maybe like a dark brown, that's pretty. But like, then again, there's not, there's not too much contrast here. Um, chat has froze. Oh, hey, Terry. Hey. Yeah, I just, I really want to make sure that um, I can see everybody's input. Do you guys think that the cat should be orange? Or do you think that the cat should be like cool colored? Name him Sir Tiger Tips? Call it Cat Richie. <laughs> you guys, you guys are uh, very opinionated with, with uh, names. <laughs> Chat is officially unfrozen. I can see what you guys are saying right now. Um, I think that, Should stay dark. I, 
This is really pretty though. He actually looks like, he looks kind of wild. Maybe purple here, I don't know. That's kind of nice. Or maybe, maybe it should be like gold. Cause you know, it is Judy's cat. And Judy is a gold digger, so perhaps a gold cat is the way to go. Pink? I really kind of liked when he had like that green tint, tint to him, but like, I have very, very bad taste. So, um, yeah, don't, don't trust me on that one. Okay, so what does this, okay, so this just gives him like kind of an overall tint. And I feel like he should like kind of maintain the orange here, but there's something about this yellow that I added that like just seems really unnatural. I mean, everything I'm gonna do is gonna look unnatural, but like I want him to look like expensive. And this looks very expensive. I'd pay a lot of money for this cat. I'd pay a pretty penny. Bratty catty, make him pastely and cute? You can give him um, clothes. Should I give him clothes? I don't know. Furs. Should he have a lot of fur like he already has, or should he be a skinny cat? A skinny kitty. I think he should. I, I like him being a, like a chubby little guy. And like he looks kind of big right now in the screen that we're in, but like when Judy actually interacts with him, like he's gonna be like a tiny little kitty and it's gonna be the cutest thing ever. Gold or orange, but none of that green BS. <laughs> okay. Petty Pussy? That's actually a good name. It's better than Torb, actually. Yeah. Petty. Petty Puss. I'm gonna get demonetized straight away, but I mean, that's that seems to be what I'm good at. Petty Puss Big Booty. That's a- I, li I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah, so he's gonna have the big fur. We're gonna go into paint mode and just see if there's anything else we can do here. He's, he seems- he's so cute! What do you guys think? Do you guys give him a yay or do you give him a nay? I think that he's like- I think he's the cutest little cat, but I- uh, I've got bad taste, you know? Like, if I were to- when I choose things, it's kind of, um, it's kind of a mess. It's always kind of a mess. Tails? Okay, is he gonna have a big tail? Okay, let's make him stand up. Is he gonna have a big tail like this, or is he gonna have a stump? Okay, I'm seeing a lot of yays. That makes me happy. Okay, so we... There's a little stump here, or there's a big cat. Is he gonna... I kind of... I kind of like the stump, but I'm always gonna be more attracted to the longer tail. The stump seems a lot more like something that... Do Bengals have stumps? I feel like it looks like natural. Like it looks like the way it should be. What's that here? Okay, cool. Short Mini Mel, do a gold cat for Judy and name him Mr. Moneybags. The stump, I'm seeing a lot of stump. You guys like the stump too? I kind of like the stump. What I want to know is like when people get, when people have stumped or stumped tailed cats, is that like a natural thing or was it docked? so fucking cute. I agree. I agree. He's perfect. He's beautiful. He's the best cat I've ever seen. Randomized from gallery? No thanks. We're not gonna randomize him and undo all of our hard work, but I think that this is like... I think he's a cute little kitty cat. Oh, he's so cute and he's perfect for Judy. And he's gonna rip up all of her stuff. Spoiled, huh? Well, I think that, I think that wanting food kind of makes him spoiled. I'm kind of tempted to change this from spoiled to territorial because I want this cat to be a problem. Prowler, what is that? These cats enjoy prowling around the neighborhood. Send them out and they might come back with something they've found. That is very, very interesting. That is far that is far more interesting than glutton. Because I mean we've already we've already made him thick with the edit here. What if he loses weight and like loses his thickness though? Ah. I want him to be mischievous. I want I want him to be more than three things! I want him to be territorial and I want him to be a prowler. I mean, I suppose, what if, what if we make him a prowler and he just like brings home like dead birds and a bunch of shit? Spoiled, okay, I'm seeing a lot of spoiled. He's definitely like, he has to be spoiled. He's Judy Big Booty's cat. He has to be. There's no way she can have a cat that's well-trained and isn't like spoiled to bits. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think that this is the final product. This is Judy Big Booty's cat. It's a beautiful cat. It's an expensive cat. It's the finest cat in all the land. And now, Melody. Melody here is gonna get a dog. Now let's, let's take a little look at Melody and remember who she is as a person. 
She is a chief of mischief, which is weird because like usually she's just hiding in the corner not talking to anybody because she's so emo. Uh, she's dastardly, gloomy, of course, romantic, and a music lover. Now, is she gonna name her dog after Kajomo? I feel like that would be kind of appropriate. No dog, a fox? She's gonna have the biggest, ugliest dog I could possibly make here. I didn't get too creative last time with the, like, the paints and everything, but this time we're going in. Oh wait, first off, uh, do we want... Oh wait, I chose a cat. No, that's not. Maybe so, yeah. uh, add a pet. She's going to get a dog. Now, Judy got a cat, a kitten. Of course, she ordered it. But I think that Melody is going to get a fully grown, like a big ass dog that she got from um, the old pound. Kate Luthy Stump Fam. Hell yeah, thank you so much for the super chat. And Ren Astro Arostigui. Arostigui? Love me a thick daddy. I think everyone loves a thick daddy here. The music is loud as fuck. Just make sure that you guys can still hear me. Just let me know. I feel like she... I feel like she deserves a cat because she's more emo, but it's too late now. I feel like she deserves, like, a dozy dog. Like, a, I don't know. I'm pretty emo, and I'm, I'm a dog person because I feel like emo people like affection. Confident people are, like, are often more likely to be cat people because, like, they don't need the constant affection, whereas... I like dogs because they give you they give you the love that they need and also Melody has a deceased husband So she probably needs a little bit of help around the house It's gonna be hard with a dog because dogs are a lot more needy especially because she has a child named turd Ferguson But what can you do? Scottish Terrier he's going to be aggressive He's not gonna be independent hell no he's going to be okay Let's take a little look here adventurous couch potato Harry Dogs will leave hair piles laying around, brush their fur to keep things tidy. Is he gonna be jumpy? These dogs are easily frightened. Okay, so she got him from a pound, right? So, I feel like getting a jumpy, I feel like a jumpy dog that's really unpredictable is probably aggressive and jumpy. I think that that's probably, oh. That's probably the play here right now. So he is jumpy, he is aggressive, and like what else? What is like also a terrible, terrible trait that we can apply to this dog to just make it, to give Melody the hardest time we humanly can. Troublemaker, stubborn. These dogs don't like being told what to do. Scolding them doesn't do much to change their misbehaviors, but you can try begging them to stop. Or troublemaker, these dogs are always up to nothing good. They will often misbehave and can even be encouraged to do so. You can encourage a troublemaker to misbehave. That sounds pretty good to me. What do you think? Stubborn? Troublemaker? So this is like officially the worst dog and like he's taken a crap. Troublemaker, jumpy, and aggressive. Is there anything? Do we prefer jumpy or do we prefer aggressive? We already have aggressive. Do we prefer stubborn or jumpy? I feel like jumpy is more of a trait that you would get out of a pound dog that has like um, a past. So possibly that. Now. Hmm. Head shape? I don't know. Let's maybe... Let's maybe like, let's maybe think about the kind of breed that we're dealing with here. So obviously it has to be a mixed breed because what the hell is this up here? What is this? Hello? What is this? Maybe it should be like an uh, like a half Rottweiler, half like poodle. I don't know about you guys, but like I really, really don't like the way that poodles look. I don't understand why they're expensive. I don't understand why people spend money on these. I don't understand. And like when you shave them to look like this, it looks even worse. A bloodhound? Ooh, is there like a wolf option? Saint Bernard. Oh, that's. A, what if, what if uh, Melody's dog is like the biggest dog we can possibly make? Breed mixer. Let's, let's try out. I love Rottweilers. They're my favorite. That's so cute. 
What about like a half Rottweiler, half St. Bernard? Oh, that's a big dog. Is there like a chow? There's gotta be a chow. Tibetan Mastiff? That's a big old dog right there. A Tibetan Mastiff mixed with like, what's like the ugliest dog we can humanly, like personally in my opinion, it's one of these. Oh, geez, that is horrifying. That is horrifying. Oh, I don't want him, I want him to be like as big as humanly possible. Like I want him to take up a lot of space. A Shiba Inu, is there like a, is there a Siberian Husky? I wanna know if there's like a Malamute here. So I'm just gonna like take a little look-see. Siberian Husky, cause I want him to be like wild, baby. I want him to be wild. Sam, Samoid, is that like a, is that how you pronounce it first of all? And second of all, is that like kind of like a wolf kind of doggy? That one vlogger, thank you Cassie, you've helped me so much just making small vids. I thought I might as well help you. Thank you so much for the super chat, $10, and thank you so much for the support, I appreciate it. Rot fox, a Rottweiler mixed with a fox? I did see, okay, so this is gonna be kind of a stupid question, but like a fox is like a dog, right? <laughs> a a quiche hound, a quiche hound, a quiche hound? I'm literally just showing off my ignorance to the world right now, my dog knowledge. These are really gross. No offense if you have one. Um, I'm not seeing Malamute anywhere. I just really want her to have like a wild dog. Was oh, this a, is this a Chow Chow? Okay, that's a big, Chow Chows are big dogs. Hmm. I could literally do this all day. Like this is, <laughs> this is so much more complex than I thought it would be. Alaskan Malamute, here we go. That's so pretty. How can we make it uglier? I feel like it's not big enough. Maybe it should be um, Akita? That's a big old dog right there. That is a big old dog. A Dal get her a Dalmatian? Dalmatians are like expensive and like kind of ritzy. Like I feel like if I was gonna get, if I was gonna get Judy a dog, it would probably be a Dalmatian just cause they're, apparently Dalmatians are so inbred that they go blind early because like, you know, that print, it's uh, you wanna get that print. A Great Dane? This is a Bernese Mountain Dog. That's a big dog too. That's a big old dog. I want it to be the biggest, the biggest dog possible. Boxers, I love boxers so, so much. This is the chow, right? Yeah, that's the chow. Chows are big, chows are huge. So this is what, half chow, half mastiff? That's like the biggest dog you could possibly have. Now I wanna, I wanna see if he pants. How do you make him pant? I wanna see if he's got like the, the trademark classic purple tongue that Chows have. Open your mouth, boy. Open your mouth. Now he's gonna be, because he is so jumpy and aggressive, I want it to be very, very scary that he is aggressive. So maybe instead, maybe instead of Tibetan Mastiff, it should be a Rottweiler or like a Pitbull or something messed up like that. Just something that is really just like, ah! Really hard to control and handle. I, I don't know what kind of dog this is. Keyshawn, I don't know what that is, but that's a beautiful dog right there. That, she's a beauty. Newfoundland? Really? Is that the name of a dog? Pomeranian mixed with a husky? If I do a Pomeranian mixed with a husky, it's going to be a tiny, tiny dog, and I need him to be huge. I need him to be huge. But like this guy, he looks too, he looks too good. I don't know. Like he, he looks, he looks expensive, unfortunately. He's gotta be a mix of something. He's gotta look a little bit, a little bit off, you know? It's too bad that like dogs are so pretty. Oh, now we got two Tibetan Mastiffs. That's just wonderful. What if I mix him with a wire fox terrier? I, I wouldn't trust this guy. I don't trust this guy's face. Maybe it should be, maybe this should be his face. Let's see. Oh, oh, he's gonna have the scrunchiest face you can possibly. Should he have the pink nose or should he have the black nose? Maybe brown, brown's kind of pretty. Oh, oh, he's got a little, he's got some pink eye. I kind of like the pink eye, I don't know. Look at that, it's just kind of, it's, it's just wrong. It's just a bit wrong. Ridgeback, Ridgeback? Try it with a Westie. A Westie? What kind of dog is that? Now, is he gonna have like, mm, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. 
I don't know. And then, now, this isn't the final dog. I just want to kind of... I just kind of want to, like, play around with uh, his face so that we can, like... We'll see something that really... Why are... Okay, these ears are huge. I don't even... If I saw this dog walking down the street, I'd be like, what is that? I would know what... I feel like I would know what this is, or I'd have a vague idea. But those big floppy doppy ears, I don't... This kind of makes him look like a teddy bear. Hmm. I kind of... I don't know. I kind of like that. Head shape. We already did that. Ears. Nose. Eyes. Um, hmm. I really like, I really like the idea of, like, the beady little eyes. The big ones are kind of scary, though. Name him Sponk. <laughs> so, is this guy gonna be a big booty or a cockmouth duh? I think he's gonna be a cockmouth duh. Again, I'm gonna get demonetized right quick. Um, alright. Let's see the eyes. I kind of, okay. He's kind of cross-eyed here. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of digging it. Hmm. Oh, jeez. That is tragic. He looks kind of like he's blind here. Um, let's just, let's just like, see what other colors look like. But I kind of like the blind... The blind look. Uh, yeah, I think that the... I think that the, the baby blues... Can you make it bloodthirsty vicious? It's pretty aggressive. Like, we we made sure to make him as aggressive as possible. I can't wait to see how these animals play and how their attributes, like, come alive. Um, okay, we're gonna not do that yet. So, right now... Right now, our pup... is a mix of things and it doesn't even say anymore. But that's the beauty of the, uh, that's the beauty of one of these dogs, I suppose. Maybe, maybe its owners spray-painted him. Maybe its owners liked pink. Maybe its owners really liked some nice green. Now, the thing with dogs is you can give him pet clothing, so we can, we can make this guy look absolutely ridiculous. Husky? Sheepdog? I kind of want to, I kind of want to mix it with, like, a husky and, like, a poodle. Because I think that poodles are the worst. I feel like this is, this dog right now, this dog looks a little bit too, like, noble. Like, it does, even though it's cross-eyed, it looks like a noble creature. And I kind of want it to look more just like a rinky-dinky. Like, this guy, like, looks expensive. So I'm gonna go ahead and look to make him, to, like, just mix up breeds that just don't, that just don't fly. I suppose I'll throw out the idea of him being humongous. Because a little dog can be, like, super annoying, too. Now, I've always, I've always not liked these. They kind of look like old men. What if I mix this with a poodle? What if I mix this, this with a Dalmatian? Oh, she's a, she's a nasty girl. Um, I don't know about that. Hmm. Where's the poodle? I want to, I definitely want to put the poodle in because I want that horrible haircut to be a part of this whole project. So, it should be a poodle mixed with what? That is the question. Let me know, chat. So yeah, this guy right here. This guy right here. Hello? Okay, we're gonna kick. We're gonna kick that and that. I want him to have, yes. I want him to have this horrible hairdo so that we can play around with it. So what other kind of dog should we name it Fugly? Great Dane. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna check out. So that's Saint Bernard. I I vaguely know what Great Danes look like. I know that they are big, beautiful dogs. I'm just gonna quickly. Eh, that's a mastiff. Great Dane. They've got like the they've got the saggy mouth. I definitely I definitely want the saggy mouth. Um, are you? No, you're a pointer. I don't know what that is. A Pharaoh Hound. There's so many. I didn't realize how many dogs exist, and I don't know what kind of dog they are. That's pretty. Norse Elk Shepherd. I would buy one of those tomorrow. Uh, Great Dane, where are you? Is that you? No, you're a Mastiff. Are you a Great Dane? You're a Labrador Retriever. That, that is a good mix. That's a good dog right there. It's a good dog. I keep looking at this Keisha. Cash Hound. Irish Terrier. Maybe, like, these are, these are pretty bad looking. Maybe, maybe one of these mixed. 
but we, I, I'm gonna follow what the chat says and I'm gonna try to find this Great Dane. Is this a Great Dane? This is a Great Dane. Hmm, now he needs to be big. Big and muscular, so that he can just really throw stuff around. Now this is a, this is a pretty ugly dog. I'm not gonna lie. Um, body, now where's the fur? I wanna make sure that he's got like a lot of fur, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to give him like thick fur without losing this this afro here. I really wanna keep this. I really wanna keep this tuft. It's really important to me. Oh, that is just awful. This guy looks like his name would be Melvin. Hi, Melvin. Bull, Mastiff, no Pitbull. Pitbulls are so cute. I love Pitbulls. Okay, maybe this? That's pretty bad. That is pretty bad. Now, what is worse, though? This? Or this? I think this is much, much worse. Hmm. Yeah. That's pretty good, I think. Body. Okay, so we're just, is he gonna be like a... Is he going to be? Let's show our... Let's expose our stomachs. Is he gonna be... Oh, I like that. I like that big old dog. I like that even bigger dog. I, I really want him to, like, be able to cause trouble. I, I don't know what this feature is for, but I think it's pretty cute. Hmm. Now, I want him to have, like, one of those gross... I want him to have one of those, like, gross curly tails. Do they have those? Oh, they do. Ew. Ew. Disgusting. It looks like a turd. MVP Bambino. Thank you so much for the super chat. Hey, Cassie, love your videos. Thank you so much for the support. And Jen Soto. Thank you so much for the super chat. Boxer French Bulldog. I The problem with, the problem with a French Bulldog is if I were to implement... Um, a French bulldog into like the mixed breed then it would make him a it'd make him a lot smaller because like bull, bulldogs are usually quite small and stocky and I want this guy to be like huge and be able to like throw his body weight around and just like really mess up everything uh, tails we got tail we got that curly um, should I should I do should I do this ugly curly tail or should I do this ugly curly tail let's just see what he looks like with long tails that's pretty cute should he have no tail nah that's Judy's thing. We're not copying Judy today. Make it a puppy. Judy Big Booty got a kitten, and I just want to make sure that um, Melody does not get what she wants at all. At all. Coat color and pattern. Okay, so let's make let's make him not purple. What color should this be? Hmm. I, I really want to mix some white in just because it looks so bad. That's really bad. Is there any way I can give him a mustache? What is this? Is this just for his tail coloring? Oh, okay, so it's like along his legs as well. Should we make him look like somebody spray painted him? Boxer and Pipple? Boxer and Pipple, like that's like, that's a normal mix. That's like a nice mix. Um, I think that this brown beard should be like, ew, ew. 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 That's actually kind of cool. Reminds me of, like, mint. Um. Hey, Terry, how, how bad do you think this is? How can I make it worse? How can I make this the worst thing ever? Oh. 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 That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. I like I like the white fur a lot though because it like really clashes so badly. So so badly. Um do it all the same color so it looks normal. Judy Big Booty's cat looks normal, like very cute, very adorable, but I want to make sure that this dog looks as ridiculous as possible. Maybe it'll help us out a little bit more if we like give him some clothes just so you guys like understand how bad I want him to look. Um maybe he should wear a shirt. That's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Maybe you should wear a bow tie too instead of a collar. Ugh. What is this? Oh, oh, oh. Why? Should he be a little shark? Oh, oh. oh, you can't do the shark and the collar at the same time? Oh, oh. That's really, 
That is just really tragic. You can give him a hat. I don't know about hats. This is pretty much all of these options, but like singled out, I think. Outfits, yeah, it is. Hmm. This is pretty bad. William Hatch, thank you so much for the super chat. Will you call it William? You want, you really want this thing to be named after you? Look how disgusting it is. Should it be wearing a big, why do you hate the dog? <laughs> why do you hate the dog? I love the dog. Weird looking dogs deserve love too. And plus we have one more animal that we can add after this, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we have one more animal that we can add after this. So like after this one, we can make something reasonably normal. Oh, oh, oh. I think this is pretty cute. <laughs> we just gotta, we gotta make sure that one of, them, one of them is really, really bad. So I think it's gotta be this guy. <laughs> okay, William. <laughs> Bonk. Oh. Whoopsies. Sponk W. Cock Malta. That's a cute. That's a cute legend right there. That's a cute legend. Um, hmm. Paint mode. Okay, so since we since we can do whatever we want to this dog, I kinda wanna like write something on him. What shall we write across the torso of the ugliest dog in human? History. Well, in Sims history, in Sims 4, in Judy B. Booty's world. Spoil the dog. Guys, we're gonna make a normal- Okay, we can make a normal dog after this one. Right now, we gotta focus on making the worst dog humanly possible, okay? And while you guys decide, I'm giving him nipples. There you go. There's a cutie. There's a cutie. Pizza? Mm. I'll write that in some orange. Write dumb ho. I'm okay. We gotta make it. It can't be. It can't be like a, a straight swear. It can't be a straight swear. It's gotta be something. I, I mean, maybe we could do ass. Mistake? That might be too big. Uh, uh, oh. Mistake. Oh shit, I just realized that I've gotten like the. Oh no. I don't think this is gonna work. I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, and mistake is- whoa. That's like a graffiti diagram right there. Terry, what do you think about this mistake? No? It's okay. What would you write across this doggy? What was that? I don't know, I think that's pretty beautiful. Mistake, shit, spawn, or emo? Oh my goodness. Hash Hashtag. Okay, I need, I need a I need a thinner pen. I need a thinner pen. Um, brush size. Uh, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna bring that way down. Oh shit! Oh, the problem with the uh, hashtag spawn. So this this dog is a sell out. Oh, oh, that's hideous. Eh, I kind of liked mistake better to be honest. Maybe I'll make it- I'll make it a little bit thicker. What should it- what should be written here? There's gotta be something written on this dog! Fandango? Right big boy? Poopy? I kinda like poopy. Oh, ugly. Oh. U-G-H. Oh, uh, like that? Should I underline it? Can I give him like a little orange butthole? There we go. Wait, how do I, I need to, uh, I need to quickly zoom into his eyeballs. I need to give him those cross eyes. Yes, yes we do. And they gotta be a bit blind. There we go. That's really nice. Beautiful. Perfect. Gorgeous. What do you think? What do you think, chat? Is this the nicest, is this the nicest dog you've ever seen? I don't know, okay, I don't know if I like this, uh, this thing. I'm gonna get rid of it. Uh, get off. Get off my dog! Yeah, you're ruining his afro. That's a good dog right there. So this is going to be... This is going to be sweet old innocent Melody's dog. 
And now, speak now or forever hold your peace. We're gonna move on to the next dog and it's going to be, well, it can be either a dog or a cat, but we're gonna try to make it something cute and lovable because I wanna be able to compare what a good, what good, what a good animal looks like in comparison to the bad ones. Cause like these two are like pretty bad little guys. And so I wanna make like a really good, perfect animal. Hashtag ugly fox, put Bic on him. Bic, adorable, right queen. It's so weird. It is pretty weird. It's pretty weird, but I mean, this could um, open up a, a brand new door for Melody in her life. I do think it's unfortunate that they both wanted pets and uh, <laughs> Judy got this adorable, like perfect little cat and then she got this. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> right, trash? I like, ugh. Or maybe, maybe, maybe we should write something on his stomach. Yeah, something's gotta be written on his stomach. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Okay, so we're gonna take the mirroring off so we can just write whatever we want here. It's gonna be written in something that's just really tacky and awful. Maybe yellow, may, no, may, yellow might not show up. Maybe hot pink. Make Twinkie thick, ew. Baka, abused. Okay, this needs to be thinner. Uh, okay. Eh. Eh. I wish I was more legible. Eh. Uh. I don't want to write too close to his private parts. There we go. We did it. We did it. I think we finished him. I think we. Wait. Where did his. Where did his, oh, there, there it is. We've done it. We've done it. Okay, that looks a little weird, but. I think at the end of the day, he's a really good dog. Heidi Peterson, hey Cassie, that's a cute cat and a cool dog. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> appreciate it. <laughs> that one vlogger, thank you so much. The super chat, $2. That one vlogger, I, re I recognize that name. Yeah. No, but I recognize them. I think I recognize them from Twitter. Daddy, I love the ugly. I love him too. Like, if this guy was at the pound, I'd, I'd be taking him home tonight. Wait. Can't he be bigger? Oh, he can be bigger. He can be stronger. And I think, I think we got him. Spunk, William, Cockmouthta. And let's review Petty Puss Big Booty. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, and now we're gonna do one more. Now. The next, the next animal we want to create is the perfect animal. So I think it's going to be, I, I want more kittens running around, but we like, we have a big dog, we have a kitten. I think that we also need a puppy. I think we also need a puppy. Do you guys think we need a puppy? A corgi? Ugh. I, I'm, you guys may not know this about me, but I am a big dog person. Um, I, I actually didn't buy Twinkie, um, my sibling, bought Twinkie and then Twinkie like liked me and then became my dog like just by happenstance but like I prefer I prefer I mean I love Twinkie but like I prefer big dogs like I love big dogs um I think we're gonna do a puppy because like oh what can make you more happy than a puppy wait I, I don't remember where to um there we go all right so he's going to be a pup I just realized that I never checked I never checked the gender okay so Judy B. Booty's cat is a, okay, I kinda wanna make it a female. Petty puss, yeah, kinda wanna make Petty puss a female. What difference does that make? Okay, good, it doesn't make a difference. I was like, what? Kitten, adult, elder, oh. I kinda wanna see what an old animal is like. So a raccoon or sweet, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Okay, so that's, that's a, that's a girl. I, Spunk is a boy, naturally. Clear, squeaky, tough, deep. Oh, so this is gonna, this is his bark, right? Ew. Okay, so that's squeaky. Oh, I like that, I like that a lot. Deep? Ew, that's gross, but I kinda like that too. Fox? Yeah! Fox is so bad! <laughs> I think this is most fitting. This is most fitting for him. That's disgusting. Clear. 
Okay, I really think I really think that raccoon is the way to go, or fox is the way to go. For sure. Edit relationships? Judy is the owner. Cannot edit pre-existing sims. Wait, roommate? These cats are roommates? Okay, that's fine. Um, so since we've done that, let's edit the meow. Ooh, that's creepy. He's gonna be perfect, okay? He's gonna be perfect. That's cute. I like the- That's cute. I like that. And, uh, let's, uh... <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> I think we're just gonna leave that in the middle. Short mini mail, thank you so much for the super chat. $2 do a pug! Ew! A pug, that's disgusting. Okay, let's start working. Let's start working on this dog from the very beginning. I'm getting a little bit better at this animal maker. I love how many options there are. Uh, is this puppy gonna be a male or a female? Now we already have we already have a male in the house, so I think that this pup is gonna be a female. I've just always liked female dogs better than male dogs, to be honest with you. Um, I just think they're they're just good dogs. Now he's gonna have a normal bark. That's cute. That's pretty low. That's pretty high. Um, I, I like the high, but I feel like it's gonna get kind of annoying when this puppy grows up, so... I think I'll just keep it in the middle, since he is supposed to be, like, the perfect dog. Now. Active... Okay, so he's gonna be a good, 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 good dog. So, he's going to be... Smart? Ooh, he should be a hunter. And then he can bring home food. Well, not edible food, but, like, maybe he'll, like, bring home birds and stuff. I, um, we had, like, this, like, stray cat that really liked us that lived outside of our house, and, like, it would always bring us, like, dead animals, and we would be like, no, like, don't bring us animals! But, like, he did it because he loved us, apparently. Girl, dog named Ellie? Ellie is, like, Ellie is, like, the most perfect name for a, for anything. Just Ellie. It's Ellie. Ellie, big booty. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost it's so perfect it's almost pretentious. Hi Ellie. I don't like I don't know if I could love a dog named Ellie. It's its name needs to be like rule for something. Um okay, let's let's pick some stuff. So is he gonna be active? These dogs are very energetic and they like running and enjoy frequent walks. That kind of seems like a mouthful, or not a mouthful, a handful, but um I mean it works. Vocal? That's really annoying. These dogs like to howl occasionally and, he, and can even sing on command. Ah! Maybe while like Melody is like trying to learn how to be an emo singer, she can like practice her singing with this dog, make it hairy. But we're trying to make this like, we're trying to make this the perfect dog, but should we make it the perfect dog or just a different dog? Like, I really want to experience like, like everything these pets have to offer. I want to experience it. Um, so we have aggressive, adventurous. These dogs will sometimes leave the house to go on solo adventures, but are also happy to go on an adventure with their owners. Um, these dogs are natural hunters. Send them off into the world and they'll hunt and dig for things. I really want loyal. These dogs want to be close to their owners and love to be petted. They like to follow their owners around. That is so cute. Oh, it's gotta be one of them for sure. Smart, these bright dogs are easier to train and pick up tricks quickly. They might even understand Simlish. Okay, so maybe maybe one of them should be easy to train. Perhaps this dog. And now don't worry guys, this puppy, this puppy is not like what he's gonna look like. Right now we're just doing like his attitude. Okay, so yeah, he should be smart, smart, loyal. Now is there a genius one? Uh, or adventurous or a hunter. I, I really, really like hunter dogs, but I also, I love dogs that like howl and can sing. Like that's that is literally one of my favorite characteristics of a dog, like the dog that I grew up with. Whenever he was like kind of pissed off at me, he'd be like, oh, and I'd be like, yeah, boy. Stubborn. These, okay, he's not gonna be stubborn because we already have one of those. Playful, that's so cute. These pets love toys and want to play all the time, even when they're not excited. Now, I, the re one of the reasons why I'm like not giving an animal to Janice is because Janice hates children, so I can only assume that she hates animals. So perhaps this can be Hanzo's little puppy. That would be cute. And Hanzo just gets like the perfect little dog. Vocal? Okay. I'm just like, I'm very, very intrigued by sending the dog out into the world and like him bringing stuff home. I'm very intrigued by that. But I guess he can be vocal. Maybe he should be, maybe instead of smart, he should be a hunter. I, 
I kind of like Hunter too, guys. I, I love, I love a good hunting dog, you know? That's cute! Why does he have human teeth? I don't like that. I just want to see real quick. Oh, I love it. I love it. Okay, so we're gonna make him vocal. Now let's see what he does when you put smart. Okay, he doesn't do anything. Hunter. He's a, a loyal hunter vocal dog. Like, he might as well even be a bloodhound. Yeah, take out smart. I agree. I agree. Vocal, loyal, and he's a hunter. This is the perfect, like, this is like every attribute that I dream about with a dog. Okay, now let's talk breeds, ladies and gentlemen. What kind of dog is like a really, like, what's just the cutest dog ever? We're probably gonna have differing opinions. Um... My, my personal favorite breed is uh, Rottweiler. I think that they're sick. I love German Shepherds. I think they're like, I think they're the best dog ever. The other day I was watching a bunch of videos of like um, German Shepherd police dogs and like they're so smart. Um, I knew, I knew that I would see a ton of Husky. I knew that I would see that because like Huskies are just so cute. I would never buy a Husky because they're like too, they're almost too cute. If you know what I mean, like they're too perfect. Whereas Roddy's like, I like Roddy's because they have like, oh, that's so cute. Why? Okay, his muzzle's a little short. We can fix that. What kind of a German Shepherd has a short little muzzle like that? This guy looks like he's like part pug and I, no offense, Twinkie. Twinkie, no offense, but I literally, I literally can't stand the way pugs look. I hate it. Oh, he's like, taking offense. I know, he's pissed. He's pissed. Can we bring him here? He's like, oh my goodness. American Bulldog German Shepherd. I just love okay. I'm just gonna like fix his muzzle real quick so we can like so we can just take a real good look at Kay. Like can we not can we not with that? Can we just whoa? Are you mad wink? Are you mad wink? Look how upset he is. Look into his look into his eyes He doesn't like it He's streaming. Twinkie do you realize that thousands of people are staring at you right now wink? He thinks, people. <laughs> he thinks he's a streamer Beagle, white husky, Ooh, white husky. That sounds beautiful. You want to hold him? All right, yeah, might as well. Might as well in the in honor of. Okay, what? I feel like this muzzle is still really small. Can we just like? Oh yeah, can we just make that stick out real good? That's great. And also, I just want that. Yeah. Now, let's make him look like a real dog. Actually, his muzzle's like a bit too long. Okay, there we go. Let's make him look like a real dog. Isn't that just the cutest thing? Um, his ears. Oh. Oh, should he have one ear up, one ear down? Oh, that's so cute. Okay, I should I should actually um, narrow down a breed before before I do this whole uh, face stuff. All right, back up. All right. Now I never know. I I honestly like I honestly never know where to click to like get her going. There we go. Um, yeah, let's just narrow down a breed a little bit. Breeds. Afghan hound? That's a nice dog. Okay, so is he going to- maybe he should be- maybe he should be part German Shepherd, part Husky, because that seems to be like the group- the group preference. I think Twinkie doesn't like hearing you talk about other dogs. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sorry, Wink. You got a super chat. Oh, I did? Um, Alex and Dania, thank you so much for the super chat. Two dollars. Hi, I love you. I love you too. Thank you so much for the support. Okay, so he's gonna be part- part German Shep and part Husky, because we- oh, look at him! Oh! Okay, we're gonna, we're definitely gonna like pull his nose out in a sec, but where, where is the husky? Surely they put the husky up to, of course they did, because everyone, now, should it be a husky or an Alaskan Malamute? Like Malamutes, I prefer Malamutes over um, huskies, just because they're like a little bit more wild. I, I saw a Malamute once at the dog beach and it was like as big as me and it was the scariest, it was the scariest dog, but like the owner was literally like, like she like snapped and the, like this giant bear dog just like laid down and was so submissive to her. And I was like, dude, like imagine having a beast like that, that just obeys you and is so like well-trained. Like that'd be so sick. Um, yeah, I think that, I think that, wait, there's, there's the Husky. There's the Siberian Husky. Okay. So we've got a mix. We've got a mix of these two. I know the coloring is like a little bit off and like, I don't like, his nose is like pissing me off really badly. And like his coloring too. Can we just, let's like, let's at least make him look like a Husky slash German Shepherd. German Shepherds have like, okay. 
his face is like just like I'm I'm actually puking right now at his face. Um that's cute. That's cute. That's this this one's like a little bit too much like a Rottweiler, I think. I just, I really wanna find I really wanna find like the like the typical like husky print and then give it like a German Shepherd color. Or maybe we should get the German Shepherd colors and give it a husky print. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. That's really cute though. <gasps> I love that. I'm sorry, I, like I turn into like full on like 100% dumb bitch when this is what's going on. It's just, I love it. There's so many options. I've never seen so many options in my life. The same as four. Oh, that's so cute. Um, okay, this is cute too. I like this. This I like this because this has like this has like a, a wider color palette. So maybe we'll be able to like do a bunch of like cool stuff with it. Taylor Lucas, can the next dog be a boxer pit mix? I really like your taste in dogs, Taylor. Like pit bulls and boxers and Rottweilers. Those, 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 like those are the dogs of 900 IQ people. Now, do we like this better or do we like this? I kind of like this because we can. I really want to add like the like the German Shepherd orange to it. Wait, so this is, let's just fiddle with this. Let's just fiddle with this a little bit. And no, that doesn't look like, okay, so this, this looks very much like a husky, in my opinion, and I don't want to like mess with it too much. But I still want it to, ah! I'm sorry. I still want it to look like, I mean, it, it does kind of look like a German Shepherd, don't you think? I know, it's so cute. It's so cute. Fwiz, thank you so much for the five dollars. Thank you for streaming. Thank you for watching, and to everybody who's watching the VOD as well. Thank you for watching. Um, maybe we should like. Okay, wait. Let's. Okay, I like that. That's pretty cute. This guy's cute. Um, now I'm gonna go in and alter his face, just because like the way the way a dog's face looks is very important to me. He's got to have a muzzle. Like it can't be like. I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit at all. I like this shit. This shit right here. Bulging out, you know what I'm saying? Um, head shape. Let's make him into a real dog, there we go. Let's, give him, let's make him into a real puppy. I love how this guy's a howler. He, it's, he's perfect, okay. Um, I, want, I kind of want one of his ears to flop. What do you guys think? No, he can't. Ears are too big. I can bring them down a bit. That looks more. <laughs> this is symmetrical, right? Okay, yeah, it is. I was like, uh, am I just making one of the ears really big and one of them really small? Two ears up. That's like, this is like the typical. I kind of want to make his. Oh. I just want to like bring those down a little bit and. I feel like if he was a little bit, like, if he was, like, a little bit, like, fatter, it would look a lot cuter. But, yeah, this is, like, very much, this is very much, uh, what a husky German Shepherd would look like. Because we gotta remember that German Shepherds have the very big, they have very big ears, okay? Um, let's just make sure that his nose is on the up and up. Yeah, I like the big nose. This, this one looks, like, very normal as well. Can we like, can we pull this up a bit? Okay, let's not do that. Pull that back down. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally mess up this dog. Yeah, I can't, I want to, yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm very specific. Eyes too big? Eyes too big? Um, we can, we can work on that. Now this, I, I know that you guys might not like these eyes in particular, but like th these eyes are like a very much like a hunting dog eye. These are too big. Yeah, I agree. These ones, he, he can see on both different sides of his face. What about this? This is like a smart looking dog. Too cute, pit bull husky miss, mix. This is a German Shepherd husky mix and I think it's just the most beautiful. This is like such a beautiful dog right now. Paint mode, let's not do paint mode. Ears are a bit too narrow. Um, we can we can work on that. Oh shit, let's bring him, let's bring him up. Now this looks kind of, kind of goofy. <laughs> it's just, yeah, there we go. 
Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens on this side when I do this. Okay, let's just eh. like that. Yeah, yeah. That's an intelligent dog. Um, I feel like I kind of feel like his head is like a bit. His head's a bit too big. Let's just pull that in. But I don't want. I don't want it to be too narrow. I, I I gotta make this dog uh. I gotta make this dog like a little bit fatter, otherwise I'm not gonna like him. I don't think. So he's gotta have, since he's like a grand dog, he's not gonna have one of these. Fuck that. He's not gonna have one of these. Fuck that. He's gonna have either this. This is, I feel like, the typical husky tail, or he's gonna have the good old German Shepherd long tail. What? What is your preference? What do you guys prefer? His eyes are too big. You, you still think they're too big? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, of course. So, um, German Shepherds typically have dark eyes. Huskies typically have like the really pretty, like the baby blues. And I think that one of the reasons why people like Huskies so much is because of the baby blues. So I think we're gonna stick with the, should they be like the berry blues? Like th this is kind of like typical of what I see. They, I, I'm not gonna lie, they kind of scare me a little bit. Like a lot of people are like, I want the bluest eyes ever. And I'm like, uh, they can be too blue. What about gray? Nah, it's kind of boring actually. That's nice. They really like pierce through ya. Droopy tail. We can do that. Um, do you guys want like the the two blue or the dark blue? Two blue, dark blue. Two blue, dark blue. I'm thinking, I'm thinking dark blue. Two blue. <laughs> I've seen a lot of two blues. One blue, one green. We can do that. Oh, we can do that. I forgot we could do that. One blue, one green. Where's the color palette? Because that's not green. It's not green enough for me. Ew. Okay, he looks like he's going blind. Uh, how do I open up? Please, please open up. Oh. Oh. Oh Jesus. What have I done? Let's just quickly undo that. Dark brown and blue. We can do brown and blue. We can absolutely do brown and blue. Um, should it be like a light or like that? That's cute. I like that a lot. Okay, eyes. Oh, let's not make him cross-eyed. Let's not. Let's not do that. Um, I just wanna. I just wanna make these like a bit smaller because you guys said that his eyes are a bit too big. I think this is better. I think this is a lot better. Yes. Yes? Okay, you want to make it- you want me to make it fluffy? I can do that. You guys, I never thought that as a community we could make such a glorious creature. It actually looks good. I thought it was... It's beautiful. It's like- it's stunning. It's stunning, but I think that his legs need to be longer. How do I do that? Get- get your legs! Oh wait, maybe he- maybe when he grows into a like into an actual dog, I won't be so mad at him. Okay, so coat color and pattern furs. Let's- you want him to be fuzzy? Oh! Can you make him less fuzzy? Like, is there... Like, are, are we stuck between this and this? I mean, I, I'll definitely, 100% of the time, always go for fuzzy, but, like, he's gonna leave fur all over the place. Blue and gray. I really like blue and brown. That's so nice. And it's such a pretty brown, too. I like the brown better. Like, the brown almost seems like it has more dimension than the blue, because, like, the brown's got, like, a darker outline, whereas this is just, like, blah! Blah! English Mastiff, please. Fluffy, no fuzzy, no fuzz. You don't like the fuzz? I feel like he looks a lot more like, um, he, he looks a lot more like noble without the fur, but with the fur, he's like such a cute little, he's such a cute little guy. I just wish that there was like a way to make it like, is there a way to make you like a little less? Oh wait, I think I just did. No, did I not? I'm just like, I'm just tugging, I'm just tugging, pulling around. I'm just oh, okay. Yeah, let's let's bring that neck in a little, little bit. Okay, so maybe if we like, maybe if we just like adjust. Uh, come on. I made it. I, I brought his neck in a little bit, and I feel like it looks a lot better. Let's see what that looks like without fur. I th think that looks a lot better because he like had like he had like kind of a big neck before, and it, I I didn't like it very much. Okay, let's make him like since he is a hunter. Let's make him let's make him a little bit more ripped. Okay, let's see how that looks with fur. All right, I need a vote of fur and not fur. You think he looks fat? I don't think- well, I mean, he's a puppy, right? He's got, like, that baby weight. 
He's so cute. Um, fuzzy or not fuzzy? Alright, I'm making a um, straw poll. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do a straw poll for that. Um, for now, we're just gonna we're just gonna take a little look here. I think that we I think that we've landed on our colors. Like, I think this is just gorgeous. Like, it's got the German Shepherd colors, but it's also got the Husky colors. It's perfect. He looks so cute. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> I've never seen a cuter dog in my life. Um, why isn't there? Okay, what I want to know is why isn't there? Um, maybe maybe we'll see. Why isn't there a clothing option? Is it because of this particular breed? Because I, I noticed like too like with the cats like sometimes you can um, sometimes you can choose with the cats what outfit you want it to wear. But did you do the straw poll? So right now we did a straw poll, so we're just waiting for you guys to decide whether he's gonna be furry or not. Um, also, uh, his name is still Ellie Big Booty. Like, he's the perfect dog! And I keep- I know I keep calling him he, even though he's a she. It's just because, like, for me, like, I don't know, I always called my stuffed animals he's, even though they were she's, just because, like, I like cuddling with he's, I guess. Fuzz is winning, so Fuzz. if you don't want Fuzz, you better step up to the plate! I have like dry skin underneath my nose, it's really pissing me off real bad. Real bad right now. Real freaking bad. Now paint mode, I don't think we're gonna do- I don't think we're gonna do- we're not gonna mess him up. We're not gonna mess him up. He's so cute. He's so perfect. He's so wonderful. He's the finest dog I ever saw! Um, I do wish I could give him like- where's the clothing option? I do wish I could give him like... A shirt. Or not a shirt, but like a collar. I want to give him a collar really badly, but I can't- I can't find that option. What's a cute dog without a cute collar? I want to give him a collar so bad. Okay, his eyes are good. Everything's good here. What about- okay, let's click on- maybe we'll click on his neck. Can we get some collars going on here? Why? Why? It came up so easily last time. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly click on this boy over here, this sex beast, this sex monster. See, like, he, ha he has a pet clothing option. What about my little pups? He's got, like, this- why does this- why does this uggo have so many more options than my little pup? Ah! I don't like it! Is it because he has long fur? Is that why? Why am I- why is my little pup being discriminated against? You can't have collars because he's a puppy. Oh, Okay, you guys are a lot smarter than me. Oh, We have it. We have it. And okay, so, um, our house is officially full right now. We have a full family. And you know what? I almost wish that I could kick Fur Turdison out of this family so that I could add another animal. Because I don't want this freaking kid anymore. This kid's annoying. This kid, like, the, what is he like? He's wild. He's wild. This guy is Kom this guy is uh, Kajomo's son. He's wild. I don't know why he wear these. Well, like, who chose these glasses for this kid? It's so annoying. Can we age him up so he looks old to see how he looks older? Yeah, I mean, yeah, we could totally we could totally do that. But like, I don't like this. Maybe we should like just kill him. I don't know. Like, cause I want to put more animals. Like, who doesn't want to play with the cats and the dogs? This guy's so tragic, but look at this one. Oh, wait, does this guy have two color eyes? No, he's got the blind, the blind cross eyes. This guy has two colored eyes too. I think, it, oh, I just love this one so, I love this guy so much. Kill him, kick him out, kick him out. We could kill him. <laughs> we, we could like, should we kill him? Can you kill, oh my gosh. what? What's going on? <laughs> I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can, can you kill a kid in The Sims? I don't- I've never tried. Because I- I'm not a- not a sick person. But I can be. Age him up and he will get his own place. Could do that. Because yeah, I definitely want to like- I want there to be animals everywhere. I almost want to like kick Janice out of the house. I almost want the- just these two girls to move out again, but the reason why they had to move in is because they had no money by themselves. This girl needs- he, she needs money. Can you picture her with her new cat? They belong together. They belong together! Oh. And Melody with her new dog? They kind of match. Do you guys notice that? The blue hair? The blue hair? The- the plaid? The plaid? 
I was thinking about it, guys. I was thinking about it. <laughs> Stop feeding him? Kill the kid? I love how deliciously evil you guys are. Or just delete it. Kick him out. This is so leg. Leg? That's not good. You bastards. <laughs> Some people are really <laughs> upset that we're having discussion about killing the kids. I just want to play with your doggy. I just want to play with him so bad. Get him taken away. You can do that? All right, I need to do some research. Luca Chan, thank you so much for the super chat, $2. Um, our family is officially full. I officially can't add anyone else. Um, I do, I would kick this kid out immediately, but the problem is I want to play with the dynamic a little bit of Melody juggling a kid with the worst dog in the entire world. Um, he's playful, he's stubborn, and he's active. Really? Did we choose that? He's supposed to be worse. He's supposed to be the worst dog ever. No. He was supposed to be aggressive. He was supposed to be aggressive. He was supposed to be... Our channel's gonna get deleted. A troublemaker? Why? Because there's so many people saying, Kill the kid! Kill the kid! <laughs> Kill the kid! Aggressive, stubborn, and a troublemaker. Okay, so that... That is the dog, yes. That is Spunk. Spunk William Cockmouth the... Um, don't tell me this changed. Okay, this all stayed the same. I don't know why it randomized like that. I just want to make sure that everything is good. Okay, everything is good. Um, kill Janice, who needs her? Come on! How can you kill Janice? Look at that tramp stamp. Look at that tramp stamp. Everyone loves tramp stamps. Hmm. And look at her, like... She's a pretty sexy woman. She's a sexy woman. You can't hate on Janice. Janice, very much like Hanzo, is irreplaceable. You can't replace, just like you can't replace Judy Big Booty, I don't think you can replace, like, I I really feel like this Turd Ferguson kid, he's a little turd. I keep calling him Turd Ferguson, but it's Fur Turdison. I keep screwing it up. But, um, yeah, um, those are the pets. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the stream and helping me create these pets. I'm probably gonna end up murdering this kid. If you, if, if the kid somehow, coincidentally, dies and I act surprised um, You guys are gonna know <laughs> you guys are gonna uh, be the first to know what happened because I want to put another pet in here um, But yeah for now, this is all I can do with this family. Um, we're gonna see what happens with these animals and uh, yeah <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys. I I really appreciate the help. I really appreciate the super chat Thank you to my mods for hanging out here starve the kid and they will take him out. Really we can do that. Matt P, thank you so much for the super chat, $30. Matt, you have been such a great support and a great friend to me, and can't wait to talk to you later. Um, I love you guys so much, and I will see you later. Bye!